Literacy is so fundamental to participation in the social and economic life of a society that it has its own international day. When we think about literacy, there's a tendency to think about it in terms of basic reading and writing skills. But literacy is much more than reading and writing. Literacy is the ability to engage with language, to construct and communicate meaning in all aspects of daily living. As UNESCO tells us, literacy is a matter of dignity. It is a human right. Viewed in that way, literacy is not only important, not only a necessary tool to navigate our world, it's something quite beautiful. It's the gateway to literature, where one can connect with larger truths and ideas in society, where one's hearts and minds can be moved, where one can hear other voices that make us laugh or cry, empathise, think more deeply and more broadly. Literature literally changes lives. Over the past few years, young voices have been emerging from one of the fastest growing and most vibrant and dynamic communities in New South Wales, the Western Sydney community. Instrumental to this emergence of storytelling, in all its richness, breadth and diversity, is the work of Westwards. Westwards is a creative cultural organisation that celebrates and champions the stories of the people, places and cultures that are at the heart of Western Sydney, where one third of people speak a language other than English at home, working in schools, universities, libraries, with community groups and through writers' workshops, fellowships and residencies, Westwards award-winning writers mentored 27,000 young and emerging writers in 2019. Through its Centre for Writing programs, it partnered with 73 organisations, including 26 schools, enabling the voices of Western Sydney to be heard. Some of these writers have gone on to receive national and international recognition. Maria Mazam, 2016 fellow, whose debut poetry collection, The Hijab Files, was shortlisted for the Mary Gilmore Award in 2019. Rawa Ajar, whose debut novel, The F Team, has just been published. Peter Pilates, whose novel, Down the Hume, was nominated for the New South Wales Premier's Literary Awards. Filmmaker, screenwriter and 2017 fellow, Joseph Shibat, whose short film, Entrenched, has featured in festivals across the United States. 2018 fellow, Chloe Higgins, whose debut memoir, The Girls, was shortlisted in the 2020 Victorian Premier's Literary Prizes for Nonfiction and received the People's Choice Award. Others are finding their voice through community writing workshops, including writer Asma Mayim Ula, whose personal story was released in an anthology entitled Word of Mouth, Migration is Only Part of the Journey, launched at Kusula Powerhouse Arts Centre in Refugee Week last year. Asma's words linger like music. Very rarely, the water was calm and the view of the sky beautiful, but no words were able to describe the fear the grown-ups held under their tongues. Whenever my eyes met my mother's, I saw doubts in her light brown eyes. In supporting the professional development of young writers, Westwards is supporting the personal growth and development of young people in Western Sydney providing them with the skills to realise their potential. As Ali from Granville Boys High School explained, working with Westwards changed my life. It helped me with my confidence, it's helped me with my writing skills, with how I write. Ali became captain of his school. As a result of Westwards mentoring of students, Granville Boys has now seen the graduation of its first HSC extension to English class in over a decade. Dennis and I, as lawyers, know the importance and the power of words, written and oral. I call them our tools of trade. Words garnered together are the conveyors of thoughts, of concepts, of emotions, desires and dreams. Words are a joy in themselves. Words matter. It's a great pleasure, therefore, for us to be the inaugural patrons of Westwards. We look forward to joining you at a Westwards event. Thank you, Westwards, for enabling the stories of the people of Western Sydney to be heard and to flourish.